Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 5th of January 1925, Nellie Taylor Ross became the first woman in the United States to be sworn in as a governor of a state. Kindergarten teacher Nellie Taylor met lawyer William B. Ross in 1900 while she was visiting relatives in Tennessee. The couple married two years later and settled in Wyoming, where Ross established a law firm and soon rose to prominence as a member of the Democratic Party. After a number of losses at the ballot box, William Ross eventually won the election for governor of Wyoming in 1922. However, he died less than two years later, and at an emergency Democratic state convention, the party nominated his widow, Nellie, for the special election for the unexpired term of the governorship. Despite refusing to campaign on her own behalf, Ross defeated her Republican opponent with more than 55% of the vote. She took the oath of office on the 5th of January 1925 and became the first female governor in the history of the United States. Ross broadly continued her husband's policies by encouraging tax cuts and financial relief for poor farmers while increasing protection for children and women. Ross ran again for office in the election of 1926 but lost to her Republican rival by less than 1,500 votes. Nevertheless, she continued to be regarded as an able and talented politician by her party and went on to serve as vice chairman of the Democratic National Committee after winning the first ballot. Ross went on to achieve another first in 1933, when she was appointed director of the US Mint by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. In this capacity, she oversaw the recovery of the Mint after the impact of the Great Depression, and she eventually served five full terms before her retirement in 1953.